I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. We're checking out Assassin's Creed 2 today for the very first time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited. It's going to be one for the books. A lot of you guys have been anticipating this playthrough. Thank you so much for all of the hype. I mean, ever since I started my very first reaction video, people were like, hey, Assassin's Creed 2 is the game. Can't wait till you get there. Here we are. We're finally going to be playing it. Now, people told me to check out Lineage, which is a short film. I will check that out in the future, in the near future. I wanted to play the game first and then I'll check out Lineage because I heard that it's basically taking place before this game. So it's revolving around Ezio's father, which sounds very interesting. So I'm intrigued. We'll get to it soon, though. I just want to get into the game and see how Assassin's Creed 2 plays. Hopefully it's great. Assassin's Creed 1 was amazing. You guys know that. I played the game. I had a great time with it. I took my time with it and enjoyed every second. So I'm super hyped about this. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Helps me out on the YouTube algorithm, of course. Let's jump into it. Assassin's Creed 2. Today, I am proud to give you guys Assassin's Creed 2. This is a game that you guys have all been anticipating. I know I see it in the comment section of like the last three videos that I've done, all the Assassin's Creed 1 videos, Plus the Assassin's Creed Bloodlines video. Everybody was like, I'm waiting for two. I'm waiting for two. Two is here, y'all. It's here. It's finally here. And shouts out to the Xbox controller because it's always holding me down for these old games. Let me tell you, I got it all configured and set up. I might have to change a few things, but I should be good. So let's just get into it. Story mode. Um, I'll name Desmond Blaze. My name. I'm ready. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. The Animus. They're using it. Using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact, one of many so-called pieces of Eden. The Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, it's I was true. afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. It's time to fight back! I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her Lucy. name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. She's what was that shot? Now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what will happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. I'm excited. I said, what is that shot? But I totally forgot. That was the shot that like made me go nuts in the original game. All right, here we are. We are all books containing thousands of pages and within each of them lies an irreparable truth. Facts. 2213. Hunger lies the animus or the answer. Sorry, I thought it said animus. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. All right. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they- Now. The graphics look so updated, but what was that blood on her shirt though? But the graphics look so good in this game now. <gasps> Desmond? Oh, uh, I'm not saying they were bad in the last one, but like, some of the faces didn't look the best, but they look way better in this game. Get over here, Desmond. Especially Lucy's face and her hair. Look at it. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe 10 minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then. Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Bossy. That's a tad. All right, we're running out of time. Chill out, Kristen Bell. And I love that we have subtitles now. That feels so amazing. 
that's something that I appreciate the most. Subject 17, that's me. Subject 16. Searching for relevant memory data. Memory match found. Oh! Spingy! Spingy! Di nuovo! Si, si, brava! He's a boy. Aww. That's cute. Oh, my love. Mi dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò. You are a fighter, combatti. so fight. Let's go! I'm a fighter! Oh, wait, what's going on here? Oh, <laughs> I'm a little baby. That's cute. To move your armed hand? Okay, I have them all configured right then. Yes. It makes me happy. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. I love that name. So we gave birth to Ezio. And now we're dipping back to modern day. Get up. What an intro. Yeah, well, I'm going to need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Okay. Where are we going to go? We're going to just leave the animus here? How are we going to go back then? Really getting out of here, huh? Sturgo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Oh god, hey, guards. You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm Can I fight as Desmond? We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research Follow wing. Follow me. Hi. Back up from all available security personnel. That's Subject Fancy. Boy, these... There they are! Don't let Whoa. them get away! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on, Lucy can work like that. Holy shit. She really is an assassin, bro. She is a modern day assassin. Why can't I play as her? What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. She is good. I can't believe we're actually seeing the whole facility. This is spooky. Careful. After only seeing just that room, those like those three rooms. Now we're here. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Okay. We're following you. I'll try not to alert anyone. There's a guard right ahead of us, though. I guess he can't hear us. Where? I didn't see it. Whoa. Okay. What the? How many of them are there? Oh yeah, there is one right there. I guess there was some more back there too. Yeah, how many subjects do you guys have? And am I? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. Please. I mean, at least she said please, right? <laughs> all right, let's go. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Press any button? He's got the vision? How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. Hey! Dude, Desmond. It's 
always something. What was that in the Animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I Audi, <laughs> Audi? That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Well, just wait, man. Oh, there's a lot of guards in here. That can't be good. Am I going to fight? No way. I'm fighting as Desmond? <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Can I, can I counter? Okay. I can... I'm getting my butt kicked over here, Lucy. A little help. No, I can't counter. I can't block though. Jeez. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is a little bit better though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's kind of fire. Compared to the first game. I think that was the only thing I didn't like about the combat in the first game was the hand-to-hand -hand was kind of jank. Hey. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. I couldn't do that. I'm claustrophobic. I would freak out if I had to sit in a trunk like that. Thanks for that. It was great. You'd shove in the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. So, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't Jeez. see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this. And even if I was, it would take months. Years even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found What? My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Well, why just him? Look, Is Ezio the best assassin? Me, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After you what did? those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Oh. Can I get one XOXO Gossip Girl? Like, I, <laughs> I need to hear it. Crystal Bell, come on. Can I get one? Can I get Lucy. one? You made it. God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. So they have an Animus here? Oh, is this what the Animus looks like here? It's a, it's a chair this time. It's kind of cool. This guy seems kind of annoying. This guy over here with the British accent. I don't know if I like him. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really. This stuff is just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. 
Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. What? Okay, so who started the stereotype of, like, people from England being straight a-holes? Who started that? Because every anybody that I've met from England was nice. Most English people are nice, in my opinion. I mean, of course, you got Gordon Ramsay and then this guy. Like, what's going on here? There's some other ones that I can think of, too. Like, what's up with that stereotype? Can anyone from England tell me? Like, what's going on there? Hello, Desmond. Go away. All right, let's go over here. Let's talk to Lucy. Actually, yeah, yeah, let's talk to her. Hey, listen, I just wanted to say thank you and that I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just, I wasn't ready. It's okay. No, going through all that, knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now and that's what matters. Good point. Lucy, I've been seeing things. Symbols in my bedroom. The code on the keypad. Just like Altair. It's from the bleeding effect. You're taking on more than your ancestors' memories. You're taking on their skills, too. In this case, eagle vision. Skills? Oh! You're more receptive now. So if all goes well, everything Ezio learns in the Animus, you'll learn too. You really think this will work? That I'll become an assassin? You already are an assassin. You'll just be better at it. Yeah, hopefully much better. That's at it. cool. I mean, seriously, I saw the tapes from Abstergo. You didn't even try and escape. What a dick. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong, though, Mr. Assassin. Can you blame him for saying that? This is a big TV. Was that LG? Just kind of want to look around here. Where are we? What city is this? Looks kind of nice. It looks like Europe. Somewhere in Europe. All right, let's talk to her. Hey, Desmond, what's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better faster too anyway she's cool seat when you're ready and we can get started i just need to make a few more adjustments sorry can't talk now i like everyone except you sean i hope you're better later on okay <laughs> is that all i can do in here can i sit down so that looks more comfortable work? though of course Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... Here we go. I think Sean's gonna die soon. In this game. In future games. I, mean, I don't wish that on him, but I'm just asking. Oh, I forgot. You get the, like, the little you play thing. Wait, where's... Where's my assassin? Oh, maybe it's because he was a baby. Oh. 1476. I'm going to love this game. Like, look at this. Dude, look at all the rooftops. I'm going to be running all over. Love it. That's going to be fun. Oh my God, this city is built so, I don't know how to even put it. Like it's so detailed. What tech is Ubisoft running here? Insieme per la vittoria. Insieme. 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 
Silenzio, my friends. Silenzio. Grazie. Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Krulo! What's on, rocks? Buona sera, Viera. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you don't talk about somebody's sister, though. That's kind of messed up. His voice sounds familiar. This is Ezio, right? Fight Viere. And his men, too? Oh, we got this. Oh, we got this. Hold on. Okay, I can grab. Let me grab. Let me grab. Oh, the grab is so much better. Okay, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is even better now that we're playing, dude. Look, I can grab people. I can headbutt them. Oh, oh, get up. Oh, I can kick them. I can counter too in hand to hand combat. Get up. Dang. This guy's getting jumped over here. The combos are kind of nice. This feels really good. Behind you. Who's that? Federico, what are you doing here? He's I cool. wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Ooh, Ooh that headbutt. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. I got this. All right. Well, that's my brother. Okay, older brother. Uh, let's lock on. I can grab you since you're doing all that blocking. Let's do a throw. Oh, wait. Oh, you can knee them too. Hold on. Let's see a knee. Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. That counter was hot. Ah. Oh, this feels good. Okay, wait. No, that's not what I wanted to do. But fine. Get him up. Oh, you can pick him up off the ground too? There's so many things that you can do with the combat now. Wow. Problem. Oh, clapped. Oh my God, that double knee. That was disgusting. Oh, all right. All right. This is making Assassin's Creed 1 feel a little dated. I'm not gonna lie. And I felt like that game didn't feel that dated to me. Felt good. Oh, we're picking up rocks. Why? Am I able to change Fall my lock back. on? Fall back! Hold on. What? We've almost won this. Your lip. Ooh. Just and his eye. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I've no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd oh? hardly call it wasted. Lend me some florins then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> Hey. There's bound to be something in the pockets. We can loot? Ooh. Hold on. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, we have a database. Hold on. Recent entries. Oh, wait. Can I look at... That is amazing. Oh, that's going to be awesome, people. So I can read up on every character. You know, I'm going to be doing that, right? You know, I have to. So date of birth, 1459, profession, student, noble, and a diary entry from 1474, Maria Auditore, one of the great Florentine chroniclers and Ezio's mother, describes her son as competitive, stubborn, and loudmouth, but so passionate that it is impossible to fault for him for anything. Complaints to the city guard by several noble Patrons seem to suggest he was also something of a womanizer. Okay, I'm an F boy. Let's go. Suited by the great banker Giovanni. Ezio's school records sees around age 17. 
at which point his name is connected with some terrible crime. It is impossible to discern what it could be from the records. There's very little here, but afterward, Ezio drops out of history entirely as if he never existed. Because my man went underground. Okay. I'm going to have to read some of these other ones soon. Let's keep playing for a little bit. I'm glad we got some backstory, though. Okay, so I can loot their bodies and get money. There's money in this game. I'm able to buy things. What can I buy, though? Am I... Dude, what if this game does what I said about the first game? The first game, one of my criticisms was you can't buy armor. You can't buy anything. There's nothing to buy. So does that mean I'm going to be able to buy armor and weapons and such? That'd be dope. I would love that. That should be enough. Let's get out of here before the You sure? Oh no, man, there's a lot of money here. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's a lot of money here, boy. You see all this money? All right, so I do have eagle vision. Let's check that out. Oh, it's different now. Okay. I can even walk around with it on. Cool. That'll come in handy. Now, one of my moderators told me that there are collectibles in this game. And one of them is feathers. And if you see me skip on the feathers, like if I purposely like avoid them, it's because I'm going to use a guide to get them later. Because he told me to get them later, pretty much. Because if I use a guide later on, it's going to be super, super easy um, to find everything. Federico, let's see what you are all about. This is a, so this is Ezio's older brother and the eldest auditore. Federico entered the Medici bank as a clerk when he was 19. However, the bank laws indicate he mostly, ah, <laughs> he mostly dicked around rather than actually working. What entry goes into detail on September 17th, 1475, a bag of gold florins went missing. Oh, after panic struck the bank, the elder auditory approached Francesco Sassetti and with a smile revealed the location of the bag, which had been hidden on the rooftop. If he weren't the son of Giovanni Auditore, I'd speak to Lorenzo de Medici and have him put in the stocks. Unsurprisingly, Federico was removed from the bank's payroll shortly after his 20th birthday. Okay, so all the family is just... I don't even know. Troublemakers. They're they're troublemakers for the most part is what I'm getting. Oh, wait. We can pick up bodies? What? Okay. And I can throw them. That's awesome. Yeah, this is going to be really fun. Sorry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Sounds good. You should see the other guy. Follow Federico to the doctor. He runs fast. Whoa, look at this, guys. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I messed up the parkour there. Sorry. Give him a little bit of a running start. Oh, it's so smooth. I love it. Oh, friend. I fresh got leeches today. Ben trovato, doctor. Hmm. Fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. Oh, the plague doctor mask. Really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Forty <laughs> Oh. <laughs> There we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This Grazie. Way. Right where? Two hundred up. Two hundred florin. I wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race then? Ooh. To where? 
roof of that church. Oh, sure. I already see a way to get up there. Let's try it, guys. Uno, due, tre. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, he's... Baby brother still has much to learn. Yeah? You think so? I don't know. Come on, Tartaruga. Baby brother might beat you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this flawless victory. You see that? Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. I won the race. Okay. Ooh, look at the clouds in the sky. All right. I thought the first game was really detailed, but this is amazing. Listen to the song. It is a good life we lead, brother. Ooh. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. Aw. That's cute. Listen, I'm turning this up. Enough of that. We really should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. Oh, I'm about to hit and quit it. Let's do it. Nightcap, pay a surprise visit to the beautiful Christina Vespucci. I'm about to be getting me some poochie. <laughs> Hey, hold on. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes. All right. How do we do this? Leap of faith. So it's Vieri. You better hide. Uh oh. He's got his boys. Keep looking. He couldn't have gotten far. Nope. Look at this, guys. Wow. Look at There's people doing things like sweeping. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Wouldn't that be cool if I could use that as a weapon? That'd be so dope. Alright, so. There's things that we have on this map here. Hold on. Can I blend in with people? I can steal? Ooh, what do you have? Pouches. Ooh. Ooh. So does this give me more money? Like, can I carry more money with that? I can dye my clothes? Another time, then. Customization. 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 I'm so happy. Yes. Customization. A blacksmith. Armor, guys. Armor. Weapons. Small weapons. Ammunition. Ammunition. Can I sit on this bench? Yep. Of course I can. Let's go ahead and synchronize with this one. We got to take to the... Uh, the rooftops in this game, though. Look at how many roofs we can run across here. Let's take advantage of that. Why even go down to the streets? What's the point? Assassins don't run in the streets. Unless they have vigilantes, of course. That's the only reason why I did it in the last game. Look how easy it is to get up top now, though. Look at this. Okay, well, I didn't do that right, but when you do it right, so much easier than the last game. This. Whoa. So cool. I'll do another synchronization right here. Sorry, hopefully that's not bothering any of you guys watching. But I'm just getting a feel for the game right now. Appreciating it. <laughs> Appreciate it the best I can. Dude, I'm going to get lost in this game. Just like I got lost in the first game. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. 
Oh, it's going to be so good. This game already is impressive. So impressive. Let's jump down. Even that's so much more smoother than the last game. Oh, look at this. Look how easy it is to get up top now. Look at this. And it's so fast. Oh, look at this. Bird poop. Oh, look at this. So if somebody was ever chasing me, I could leap right off right into a haystack. Cool. I'll remember that. I think I need to go here, though. Christina! Christina! Who's there? Me! Oh, it's you! I should have known! May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. Yeah, it did. You kind of exposed yourself with that one. You definitely exposed yourself with that one. I'm sorry, Ezio. Come here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Ezio. I don't blame him. Oh, Ezio. Huh? Oh. Oh, Ezio! <laughs> Christina! Oh, Christina! no! Not the dead! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Get out of there, get out of there! I'll kill you! Oh, no, no, that's not necessary. Guards, guards! Voglio la sua testa! Get him! Uh-oh. There's really no go, 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 go. need for violence. No, there is no need for violence here, guards. Oh, gosh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You let's go. me confused with someone else. Yeah, that totally wasn't me. She needed some help oh. with some things. With some things? Okay. I'm mostly innocent. Shouldn't have did that. I got away already? Ah, come on, guards. The guards are really easy to get away from in this game. Hmm. As long as you use the rooftops. I didn't even have to go into one of those gardens or anything. Or jump in a haystack. I distilled an elixir of lead and Ooh. pomegranate. I deal for the lip. Should I save my money or should I be buying medicine, guys? I don't think you regain health. It's not like the last game. You actually have to use items. Interesting. There's a lot of red dots down there. Yeah, I'm glad that there's a mini map. Was there a mini map in the last game? Yeah, there was. There was. But it wasn't as detailed as this one. This one's really detailed. Like, it showed you... Oh, what is that? Uh... Drop down, drop down. Okay. Can I catch? Oh. I might not be able to catch. Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. No, oh, don't go up. Go in there. Come on now. There you go. Treasure. Loot, loot, loot. Money? Florence! Thank you, sir. I am... Wasting my health right now. What is this? Painting. Treasure maps. Maps can lead you to treasure chests. I will find something Ooh. Next time, okay. I'll remember that. Do I have any um Let me Yeah. That should feel better soon. Thank you, sir. I have no health right now. Good morning, father. Come with me. Uh oh, he looks mad. Something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? 
I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. Oh. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. This is a cool no, dad. Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo Di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, father. Return to me when it's done. All right, cool. We'll deliver Giovanni's letter. Let's do it. Deliver the letter. Let's do that real quick. Hold on. Al magnifico Lorenzo Di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Uh-oh. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfalonieri until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. All right, Giovanni. I can shove people while running. Oh, cool. Oh, those people are... Were those guards or was it the... That gang that I was fighting earlier? Okay, so... Every time there's like these pigeons here, there's a haystack. I'll try to remember that. I get that? Yeah. Hey, yo, the parkour is nice in this one. Wow, I'm in such awe right now, guys. I'm definitely taken aback by this game. It's so pretty. Oh, the music is so good, too. That song that they were playing earlier when we were on the rooftop with our brother that was a good song. This one is, too. This is a really chill. Laid back song that I hope I hear a lot of. I feel like it's so easy for me to like just scale buildings now. Like I'm just like, choo, 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 choo. okay, viewpoint, boom, synchronize. And let's jump down. See a treasure chest over here. I get that. Can I do this? I sure can. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me get this treasure chest. Should I go to the street? No. There's a haystack, so I can go this way. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, okay. Every time there's that little pigeon family, then I can jump into a haystack. Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid, and not expected back for at least another day. Mm. I'll let my father know. Is 
Let's go back to Giovanni. Oh, whoa. Bro, I don't even have to touch the street in this game. Ah, oh, dude. When we start assassinating people and such, I'm going to have a ball with this. I love stealth, guys. I did watch a couple other YouTubers play the first game. Um, after I completed the first game and it was kind of interesting to see that like people don't like stealth, man. I'm like, how can you not like stealth games? I love plotting out how I'm going to take out a target. I think that's the funnest thing ever. And I was just like watching people and I'm like, people are so impatient. They don't want to actually like plot out. They don't want to think about what they're doing. They're just like, oh, I'm just going to do this and run in and kill this person. It's like, why even play a stealth game at that point? The game that got me into stealth games was Splinter Cell. I played the original Splinter Cell. That's why I love Ubisoft so much. I played the original Splinter Cell, then I played Pandora Tomorrow, and then I played Chaos Theory, Double Agent. Um, I stopped at Double Agent. My little brother ended up like continuing with the series because he likes stealth games too. And he ended up playing uh, Conviction and I think Blacklist later on after that. There's been a couple other Splinter Cells that I missed, but I really wish stealth games would come back. For some reason, Ubisoft thinks that stealth games don't sell, which I think is another reason why Assassin's Creed went into the RPG uh, direction is because a lot of people don't like stealth games. They won't buy them. And, you know, it's easier to sell an RPG than it is a stealth game because it's like, well, you can level things up and there's combat and this and that. And it's like, oh, but I like I like plotting things out and killing people and, you know, being stealthy. That's fun. <laughs> To me anyways let's get into it keep up the good work beast get all <laughs> he called this man you a penis too much giovanni beast get all. <laughs> francesco di pazzi is in prison the threat is ended what so they already arrested him that can't be good Hello, son. You remember my friend, Uber? Good morning, Gonfalonieri Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while. But for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Got some money, paper boy. The sounds from the city are a lot better in this game than the first game also. I feel a lot more immersed. Claudia Adore. Let's see what she's about. The third child of Giovanni and Maria Auditore. They they got busy. My boy. And the first girl in the family. Claudia seems to have been a bit of a spoiled brat. It looks like her parents had to raise her dowry by a thousand florins after she scared away all her potential suitors. Wait, what? A report from her school indicates she once attacked another girl for looking at her boyfriend. And I like that. That's the kind of energy we need. That's a queen and knocked her out cold. On the plus side, she's Ezio's sister, so she should be safe. Oh yeah, she's good. She's good. She's definitely good. We got we got her. Oh, check out the map. Oh, the map is laggy. What is this frame rate? What's going on here, game? Is that for artistic purposes or what? What's going on there? Now set your own GPS marker in the Animus desktop's map folder. Okay. Oh, let's talk to this person. Claudia. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The oh. other girls. I Let thought me... they were my friends. Arpies. It's time to box. Better off without them. I loved him. No, Aww. Claudia. You only thought you did. True. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. What a queen. I like the curls too. We out here. Be the cheat. Find and punish. Oh yeah, we got this one. Hey, hold up. 
Hey, I hope he's ready to square up. Why would you do this? Obviously, Ezio and his family are very renowned in Italy. So why would you mess with the daughter? Like, at all? Like, I would not be cheating on her. <laughs> hey, yo. Probably not the best thing to do, homie. I'm gonna have to read up on all of the landmarks in this game, too. I see them, like, popping up. Have to look that up later on. Let's go ahead and scale this before we uh, go beat this guy up. How can we get up there? Not here? Maybe here? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Oh, they're about to hit me. Oh, uh, maybe? Nah. Nothing we could do. Whoa, they're throwing the rocks. All right. Y'all done it. Made me mad. And I'm going to take your money, too. And I'm going to take your money, too. No, no, you ain't running. Give me your money. Yes, sir. 16 florins. That's all you got? Nine? That's all you got? Y'all broke. I'm out here with the 919 Florence. <laughs> I love how they speak in like, oh, oh, it's like broken Italian. So it's like English sometimes and other times they're speaking Italian. That's really nice. I live in an area that's very, um, there's a lot of Latinos and they also do the same and it's really beautiful. I love how different cultures like incorporate their language into English. It's really nice. Oh, I can go. Oh, nice. Okay. I can go up here. Yeah, I'm really high up. Let's keep going. Up here. Uh, how am I going to get up there, though? Oh, man, he is good. Whoa, we're so high up. Look at this. Whoa. This has got to be the tallest in all of Italy. Look at this. Ooh, that was cool, guys. You got to admit. That was awesome. <gasps> Duccio. It's beautiful. Nothing but the best for you. Amore mio. But what, what? Claudia? I thought you'd This guy! The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Oh, Virbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. That's what you fell for, homie? That's what you... Hey, Bro. <laughs> you're in the porco. Hey, dirty pig. Ezio, my friend. <laughs> Oh, you insult my sister, parading around with this puttana. Hey, let's chill out. What are you talking about? Let's not say that to her. I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. Oh. You auditores all talk me, but when it comes time for action, yep. ha! You right, regret no. ever opening your mouth. Y'all know what we gotta do. I taught your sister. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Get him! Basta! Mi arrendo! Get him! Stay away from my sister! Y'all heard what he said. I ain't done with you. I ain't done with you. Come here. I heard what you said. She lucky about what? 
She's lucky what? She's lucky who? Uh-uh, beat him up! Yeah. Oh, sorry, lady. Sorry, lady. Sorry, lady. I I'm chipping. I'm about to steal your money, too. How much money you got? Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get trying to steal my sister's virginity. I steal your money. And your pride, boy. Uh huh. You saw that? You heard that? Y'all gotta be honest. He had what was coming to him, right? He had. Come on now. We don't. We don't even gotta ask. All right, we're gonna go back. Body is gonna be all right. I'm glad that like we don't have to go back to her and turn in the quest. That's kind of annoying when games do that. That's also a really nice upgrade. I like that. Who said my name? I said I heard someone say, "Hey, Ezio." Petruccio, Auditore, another sibling. The youngest of the auditory children, Petruccio, was described as having a weak constitution by Giovanni Auditore in a letter to Lorenzo soon after the boy's birth. Apparently, he didn't improve with time. Petruccio was pulled from school due to illness when he was 12 and, according to records from the family doctor, was confined to bed. Aww. No other data exists after that, so it's probable that he eventually succumbed to his illness. What? That's sad. Doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Aww, he's adorable. Obtain eagle feathers for Petruccio before he gets in trouble for sneaking out of bed. Hmm. That makes me really sad. He's such a sweet boy. At least we get to do some rooftop running, though. Oh, there's another chest. I don't need to get all the chests now, though. We can get the maps later, and then we can just go around and collect those. I don't want to waste my time doing all that right now. I got your feathers. I'm bringing them back. Where's he at? Oh, he's on the other side of this. We go down here. I should probably stop, stop banging myself up like that. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will. In time. Aww. Probably gonna make something with them. Okay, I get what my moderator was talking about. So, I'm gonna have to collect feathers for him. That's sweet. What is this? Thanks. Get these to its destination fast. Really fast. It's like a side mission? Pay you well. I guess I could do it really quick. Casanova. Deliver these two letters to guarded recipients. Oh, wait. Leonardo da Vinci should be in this game. We are in Italy. I wonder if we're going to see him soon. That'd be nice. What is this? My dearest, how can I live without you? I cannot work. I simply idle away, dreaming of your face. The fact that your father has locked you away behind cold walls sickens me. You are a budding young woman. You should have the privilege to feel my sweet kisses, like a gentle wind caressing your soft petals. This is romantic. Yet, finally, it is Friday, when he goes off to the market. Oh, happy day, and still happier night. Come, when the sky rains with sparkling stars, Come find me and jump into my arms. At dusk, I will be waiting at our special spot. Yours forever, Raphael. You see that? 
That's Riz right there, guys. That's Riz. What happened to that? Guys don't got Riz like that nowadays. What's going on? What's happening? You need to go back to these days. This was before the the time of the uh, the unwanted picks. Oh wait, what? I just came here to deliver something, dog. Chill. Dang. <laughs> oh, she's cute too. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Ooh. She liked that, huh? Oh. God, you literally never have to go to the street. Except if you're buying something or I don't know, if you're accepting a mission. I love this. Hello. Wait. I hope these are two separate letters and it's not one guy sending what I mean Casanova, we got to talk. Is that why that that uh isn't that a um Is that a saying? Some people say like you're such a Casanova, like if you're talking to multiple women or if you're good at talking to a lot of women. If so, <laughs> I see what they're talking about now. <laughs> I see what they're talking about now. <laughs> Interesting. I don't even have to cut out doing the viewpoints anymore. It's really quick. Yeah, so we should we need to go back here. We did that side quest. I blend in. No, we can't blend in in this one. What shop is this? Oh, let's see. Armor one. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually running on the ground. I know. This seems slower. Like, I feel like on the rooftops, I get by so faster. Who is this? Oh, this is mom. I grow tired of these walls that surround me and am bored with safety. Now is the time to make a decision. I will go out there and see what my life may truly be. Maria wrote those words when she was 16, a week before she met Giovanni. Born into the powerful banking family, the Mazzi, Maria is one of the most famous historical sources of the time period due to her multi-volume diary, which has been translated by several notable scholars and is on display in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. With funding from her parents, Maria opened up a bakery in the courtyard of her family, Palazzo which she transferred into an artistic gathering place. It was there that she met a man with such conviction. I found myself rooted to the spot, unable to look anywhere else. That man was Giovanni. Maria and Giovanni, Giovanni were married in 1450. Maria's diary entries continue for the next few decades, describing her patronage of several up and coming artists and her trials as a mother, at which point she abruptly abandons her writing to the disappointment of histor historians everywhere. So she stopped eventually. Interesting. I wonder why. Here we are. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno, she is pretty. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Oh, am I going to have to like... 
Follow her? Help Maria with her errand. She's so pretty. I see where Ezio got his looks from. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco Di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. That's crazy. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? Will they execute him? They have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You have nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. I also love the humor in this game. This game has a lot of like one-liners. It's pretty funny and we just started the game. What is that? Oh, look at this. Leonardo da Vinci opened his own studio after completing his apprenticeship to Verrocchio. One of the most successful Florentine artists of the day. Here he is. Is he going to show up or are they just showing us his studio? Between 1476 and 1481, Leonardo probably continued to collaborate with Verrocchio. Although no one is quite sure what he was working on. In 1481, he was given his first commission by the monks of San Donato, uh, Scopetto, to paint the adoration of the Magi. In true Da Vinci style, he began the painting. I never finished it. Here we are. Wonder why he didn't finish it. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. What? He's here. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He looks good. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. <laughs> Mother. Back to your house then. Hey, yo, hey, mama, what's going on? Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? Dang. He's buttering up my mom. How do I pick so it up? You. What do you do? He's been working for his father. Let's let's read about him. The illegitimate son of a notary and a peasant woman. Leonardo da Vinci was raised in Tuscany. Like many destined to be superstars, he had no surname. V uh, Vinci being the town in which he was born. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Hmm. At age 14, he was apprenticed to a Florentine painter, Verrocchio, who taught him chemistry, drafting, painting, sculpting, and modeling. When he was 20, Leonardo established his own workshop and then traveled across Italy, eventually painting his great masterpieces, The Last Supper, we all are very familiar with that, in 1498, and The Mona Lisa in 1503 to 1507. We're also very familiar with that, right? I would hope. During his travels, Leonardo studied the world with unquenchable curiosity. Recording his observations in mirror writing within his notebooks, he created designs for a helicopter tank. I think I've heard of the tank one. I didn't know about the helicopter, solar power, and a calculator, among others. This man was a visionary. This man was a prophet. Let's think about that for a second. A calculator? What? And solar power, which we use now today? We are just now starting to use solar power within like the last like 10 years. Like, you know, mainstream wise, as in like you can put it on your houses now. Among others, he was also an engineer designing garrisons, cannons, and movable barricades. Despite this epic list of accomplishments, Leonardo was hounded by his patrons for his chronic procrastination. Pieces frequently took years longer than he anticipated, and many were never finished at all. I don't know how people are this smart. How is that possible? I, it, it just amazes me sometimes. Leonardo also had a tumultuous love life. 
accused of sodomy in 1476, he was most likely homosexual. I didn't know that. Salai, his assistant, was accused of stealing and spending too much money on clothes, but was also probably Leonardo's lover. Leonardo painted several pictures of Salai, including his famous St. John the Baptist, and left the Mona Lisa to him when he died in 1519. Wow. We're learning. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, Art, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. Ambitious. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Why are we moving? What happened? Are we glitched? Oh, they're following me. I thought I was following them. Now I feel dumb. Oh, did I just drop it? <laughs> yeah, I thought I, I thought they were following. I thought I was following them. There we go. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. Other duties. It's nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anchio. I swear, I'll leave the vaginas alone, Mama. I swear. <laughs> Friend of the family. Can I buy something here yet? Uh, Hopefully soon. Uh, let me talk to this girl. That faithless husband of mine is cheating. I know it, as do all the neighbors. Please teach him a lesson for me. I got you. A woman scorned beat up the cheating husband. Let's do the side mission, guys. Okay, so we actually have like really fun missions that we can do in this game compared to the last one. I'm very interested in a lot of these side quests, you know? I, I'm not bored at all. Nothing is, has been repetitious thus far. Feels really awesome. Let's go this way. Oh, he's over here. Ah, uh, my eagle vision. Oh, he's right there. Hi. How you doing? Get out of there. Get out of here, ma'am. How to beat this guy up. Ooh. Get up. Yeah. Oh yeah, you are. I got the vision. I, I checked it. Donato, and she wins. I give up. That the bitch. I mean, wonderful wife of mine. I'll go home. Excuse me. That what? Boy, don't get beat up more. I got more where that came from, sir. Look at all the money I got, all the florins. I'm rich, baby. About to be taking Christina out. We're going to be living a lavish lifestyle, me and Christina. Let me tell y'all. So is Christina just a fling? Or are they going to actually like... Be a... Be a nice little couple. Look at this. I want to cry. This game is so good. <laughs> it's so good, guys. Why am I playing Assassin's Creed 2? I'm so happy I get to... Ex oh, man. I know some of you guys are probably like super jealous I get to experience this for the first time, dude. This game is magical. Just from the hour of me playing it. Okay. Uh. 
definitely hits harder once you've played it's the first game first. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? I could do that. Special delivery. Deliver two letters and retrieve a third from the pigeon coop for Giovanni. Then return to him. I could do that. Oh. Won't let me open this one. Okay. How about this one? Oh. Oh, we'll leave that alone then. Oh, what the heck? Oh, can I do the... I can! That's great. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm coming, I'm coming. I have a delivery from Giovanni Alatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Dang. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait, come back. Explain yourself. That was weird. <laughs> Who is moving? Wait, that guy from earlier, that Uberto guy? Wasn't he the guy that died in the trailer that we watched? Ah, oh. Something about him is really important. Obviously, we're going to assassinate him soon. I've never used this camera before. I hate how it says use the camera button. I don't know what the camera button is, sir. Okay. Whatever. I wish the game actually had button prompts. That's the one thing about playing on PC that kind of sucks. Even if you put in your control, there's probably a mod or something that you can change it to where like it actually says the button pop prompts. But I'm too lazy to install the mods. Look at this. Oh my God. So fun. So, 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 so fun. Look at that. You Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. Right. Oh, look at this line here. Oh, this is so cool. Oh. I wonder if I could, maybe not, but we'll try it. Nope. Father? Federico. What? There's quick time events in this game? Oh, Serezio. Thank God. What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria. To prison. And my mother. Prison? My Ezio. Claudia. Why? 
Are you all right? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... When she resisted... It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. What? Reach Giovanni's cell at the top of the Palazzo della Signoria and find out why he has been imprisoned. What? So my whole family pretty much is in prison? Except my mom and my sister? Even the young one? Petruccio? Why? What did they do? All right, I'm I'm definitely tuned in. Let's see what's going on here. Don't want to be in the street for too long because all the guards and stuff are alerted. Just wanted to get over here. Here we go. Up across. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be so much easier to get away from guards in this game. We have to scale that place up there? Whoa! Alright, well, we haven't even been here, so we get a viewpoint while we're here, too. Hmm. Let's see how I can get up. Maybe over here? Let me heal up, just in case. You look stronger already. Can I also buy some medicines from you? Yes, sir. I'll buy two. It's not, it's just so I'm not spending all of my money, you know? And swift recovery, amico. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I'll be. This song definitely sets the mood. Oh? Oh, restricted area. That's not good. Can I... Stealth attack him? Oh, maybe not. Oh, crap. I was trying to throw him into that. Oh, wait. The throws are so much different. Let's try it now. <laughs> oh my god, that never gets old. Look at that. We need to get up there. Whoa, look at the city. It's you. Father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait, you knew this would happen? Not the way it did and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. Wait, this what do you soon? Mean? Explain. There is no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. This is my assassin do gear? Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. 
Or the Patsy behind this. There was a note for you at the pigeon. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. Oh, crap. <gasps> Whoa. But I... Wait, I want to go back up, though. Because I want to synchronize. Okay, it seems like we're going to get our assassin gear, which is going to be fun. We're going to get our hidden blade, probably. Ah, this game feels so smooth. Ah, oh, look at this, guys. Wow. Oh my goodness. So cool. My jeez. Very, very cool. Oh, what is that on the map? Got a new thing. Race. Odex page. What the heck is that? Let me get that. Woo! Odex page. Because it's over here. That man said, hurry up and go back to the house. And here I am looking for codex pages. Do I need to go down? Maybe? Yeah, looks like I need to go in there. You say I was a monkey? Excuse me? <laughs> Ma'am. At least no one's using their swords. It's a fair fight. Yes, sir. Him in the face. Yes. Let me go. His combos are so good, man. We can stomp him out. That's kind of satisfying. Would he get back up? Yeah, he is. Oh, look at everybody watching. Oh, my God. The whole city is out here. <laughs> The whole city was watching me beat these guys up. Check that out. Codex page. Cool. The whole city was just watching me beat these guards up. Can I go into the... Inventory, maybe? No, maybe database? Documents? Odek pages. They need to be deciphered by Leonardo in order to be read. Oh. I have to take it to Leonardo. Okay. Well, then I'll keep collecting those. If those are around. Keep my eye out for them. Collectibles, yay. Whoa. Cross. Ooh. Treasure chest down there. We're not even going to worry about it, though. Let's get on with the main mission. There'll be plenty of time to play around later. I'm assuming. Okay, family heirloom. Recover Giovanni's documents and deliver them to Uberto Alberti. Let's do it. Hmm. Father said there was a door here. Where's my mom and sister? Ooh. This is nice. 
I love the interior of their home. It's so beautiful. Look at the garments, bro. Oh, they look so cool. With the assassin logo as like the buckle right there in the front. Hold on. Bring these to Messer Roberto. Can I read it? Nope. Oh, look at me. I'm fire. Can I have a sword? I don't have the hidden blade, though. No hidden blade for us, guys. Traditore! Uh oh. Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. No. What do you want then? For you to die. Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we? It's just like options? Altair. There are no other options. Is there a combo kill in this game? Hmm. Wonder. It didn't seem like there was. Or maybe I just haven't gotten it yet. I think you unlocked it in the first game. You didn't get it right away. Go across. Whoa, 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 sir. All I can do is counter. I can't even dodge yet. Dude, he fights just like Altai here. I can't do a charge swing either. It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? It, I, I don't... Uh, Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. Who is that? How? Is that a the Templar? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family. And against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning. And they'll be released. Thank you, signore. Of course, my child. I don't you believe him. A place to stay. No. You're more than welcome here. No. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. I don't know about that. This sounds really sketch. Broken hidden blade acquired. Oh, my hidden blade is broken. And I got a codex page too? Interesting. All right, let's go to the piazza. Oh wait, we can fall down. Okay, we can catch that. The acquittal. I hope they. I hope he stops this. I hope nothing bad happens to them.
Wait a second. Giovanni They're going to execute them? You and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. Lying. He's lying. You need to get closer. It's at the same time, Ezio. In this guy's the a snake. Absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You. And your collaborators, the family, are hereby sentenced to death. What? You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear, we will. Father, what the actual hey, heck? Grab the boy. He's one of them. I'll kill you for what you've done. Guards, arrest him. Why? Why even the youngest son too? Oh. Abba Little run boy. Fast. Oh, this guy. What the heck? What the actual heck? They killed my whole family pretty much. Except my mom and my sister. I didn't even see them earlier either. Where are they? Chase music is amazing. I am I'm actually pissed off. Bro, Ezio, what the Oh, I thought I could stand on that. I guess not. Oh, I got away from them pretty quick, huh? Um But my whole family. Guards are on high alert. What the heck? I'm so confused on what was going on. We were giving away all these letters, letters that I don't even know, like what the contents were. They wouldn't let me look at them. My sword's broken. I ain't got a hidden blade. My, ho My dad's dead. I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Eye icon? Okay. Dude, what the heck? That was so Renesio, zero to a hundred. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister? They're safe. Oh, I'll bring you to them. No. Oh, it's too God. dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. Your sister, Annetta. The auditory family's live-in servant. Annetta had one of the few respectable jobs allowed lower class Renaissance women. Rich families seldom had more than one or two servants. Most were young, sometimes children. Many hoped their masters would help raise their standing, but usually turnover was rapid. Ultimately, very little is known about Annetta's life. She passed on without making a mark on history. So that's why when I was reading their bios, like uh, Federico's, the dad's, and the youngest son, it was saying that like pretty much they died, but it, it but it didn't give away like when. That's ridiculous, man. That is really ridiculous. I am upset. Okay, she's they okay. Sean said something about an eye icon, but I don't see one right now. But maybe I need to unlock that viewpoint to see it. Maybe it's not in this area. What the heck was my dad involved in? I mean, obviously he was an assassin. We know that. Maybe it was just the fact that he was an assassin and the Templars found out and wanted to get rid of him. 
in the entire family. Except Ezio, because they couldn't get to him. Because he was gone. Oh. But it seems like this Uberto guy, like... He's definitely working with the Templars. He betrayed us, for sure. How can I get across without getting to the street? I guess I can't. I can jump over here, though. And then do this. Alright, we can go over here, get this viewpoint. See if we can see any eye icons on the map. Ooh, that was a far jump, dude. But we made it. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Get up there. You got this. I'm just trying to wrap my head around, like, what the heck is really going on here? And I heard Assassin's Creed lineage is the father's story. So it's before the game. So you get to see like what the father was doing um, as a young man. Right, I don't see any eyes. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess it's not here either. I'm not going to worry about it. It'll show up eventually. Maybe I have to find them. Maybe it doesn't show me on the map. Um, a brothel? I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. Oh, we're in the right building. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. As I you should. I understand your desire for vengeance. But the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why Ooh. are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Oh. Come. Okay. Learn the ways of the courtesans. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely. Seen, but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us. And become one with the city's crowds. Alright, let's learn about courtesans. Prostitution was one of the most popular occupations for Renaissance women, whose only other options in most cases were staying with their families or living in a convent. It, Italian society supported prostitution, and many brothels were regulated by the government. Really? Hmm. Is it still like that? At the end of the 15th century, cities started to pass laws against prostitution. Okay, no, it's not. Forcing courtesans to wear specific outfits and separating them from respected society. Interesting. My girls will show you how. Enter a group to blend. Oh, we can blend. We We're blending in with the women, though. Okay, they're taking care of me. I can blend with groups of civilians, moving civilians. Hey, but Paula, though, can we talk? All right, let's learn about her. There isn't much information about Paula in the history books, but the Florentine archives reveal that she was orphaned at age eight when her parents were killed at sea. Thus, with a choice between joining a nunnery and prostitution, she began a life on the streets. She looks like a mixture of both, right? Like her attire and such. She looks like a nun, but a prostitute at the same time. At 16, she vanishes from the records, only to reappear at age 20 when she was arrested for murdering a city guard. On an interesting note, Giovanni represented her in court, winning the case on a self-defense plea. Oh, so she's kind of like indebted to the auditory family. 
Released from prison, Paola went on to start her own brothel to protect many other unfortunate women of the street. Well, that's sweet. That's great. As she should. Oh, look at this. I can blend in with moving civilians. That's cool. And also sit on a bench like we used to. Cool. Oh. Let's blend in. That's really cool. Definitely a dope new feature. Oh, and you actually have to move with them. It's not like the scholars in the first game where you, where it like walks for you. Oh, wait. Another haven't I seen you before? Oh crap. Someone help! My money pouch is cut! Where are you? Wait, somebody stole someone's money? Look how good Paula is. She kinda stands out if you ask me. She's really pretty. How do I do that camera the game wants me to do? Untextual camera. This game would be really cool if it had some kind of multiplayer. Like some like hide and seek type thing. That'd be kind of fun. All right, we're back. Ben, now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Oh? Let's teach you how to steal. Ooh. Hold and walk into someone to steal from them. Really? Once you've stolen from someone, oh. Ezio, you mustn't linger. That's easy. Help! Somebody stop! I've been robbed. <laughs> steal from at least five different people. Oh, do I have to stay in here and steal? Ah, oh, that is so easy to do. Oh my god. Oh, coin been it's looking for me. <laughs> I like how they're just standing there like, hey, my coin purse. Easy. It's so much easier than the uh, Assassin's Creed 1 pickpocketing. And you could stay mobile while you're doing it, right? What's it? Oh, heck. Oh, me. He got dropped. Sorry, ladies. Yeah, served him right. Exactly. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. He's cute. Mm hmm. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy, we need to find you a suitable weapon. What would you have me use? Ah. But you already have the answer. Hey, my father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I've just taught you. It's not she exactly fixed it? in working condition. Uh, I assume you're familiar with Leonardo da Vinci. I am. Gee, but how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than that. Bring him the pieces. You'll see. Before I go, one last question, if I may. Of course. Why have you given your aid so readily to me, a stranger? Oh. I too know betrayal.
We did learn a little bit about her, so yeah. Visit Leonardo da Vinci at his workshop to see if he can repair Giovanni's blade. Can do. Even though it seems like Ezio doesn't like him. Probably because he's pretty. Ezio's like, there can only be one pretty guy. <laughs> The crazy thing about this game is um half of my family is from Sicily. So Wait, what is this? Thieves? Oh, I can hire them. That's cool. I don't need to right now though. Yeah, but half of my family, my dad's side is from Sicily, so it's kind of interesting to See how Italy is in this game, you know? I've never been there. I've never been to Sicily. I've never been to Italy. I haven't even been to Europe. I'd love to go, though. But I grew up on Italian food, for sure. Big ziti. Uh, obviously, spaghetti and masticcioli. Um, I mean, you name it. Whoa. My dad was definitely the chef when it came to Italian food. We ate that a lot. That and uh, anything from the Middle East, Mediterranean food, my dad would whip it up. Oh, Ezio Auditore. I, I didn't expect to see you again. What with all that's happened. Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. <laughs> now, how can I be of service? I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come, this way. Che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right, let's see it. He's about to go to work. Fascinating. I don't know, Ezio. Despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. I've never seen anything quite like it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do without the original plans. Mi dispiace. Wait, wait, wait. What oh, wait, there doing? they are. The contents of this page are encrypted. But if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well... It may very well what? Please, sit. Leonardo, I... Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Treats him like a little kid. If we transpose the letters and then select every third, There, it's finished. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm oh my sorry, God! But this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Oh, that's horrible. Bene. Do it quickly. Oh no. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. What? Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Ah, what the heck, Leonardo? Incredible. Oh, nice. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, oh, I did. Bring it to me. You have my word, and thank you for fixing this. It By order of the Florentine uh -oh. guard. Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Who do you make mad? Wait here. Is it because of me? Are you Leonardo da Vinci? See, si. how may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Oh Second. no. <gasps> Leonardo, no. Don't go with them. This what could be bad. A witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? It was because of me. Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Oh no! <gasps> no! Ready to talk? Leave him alone! What about now? I gotta help him. Oh, this guy dead. And I do like a. What about now? 
No, I can't. But I did do that. That's good enough. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What of the body? Bring it inside and put it with the others. Others? This others? gives them to me for research. That's not weird at all. I mean, he is a scientist, I guess. Why did it want me to open that up? Do codex pages deciphered? Watch your step. Ew, I don't know about this, Leonardo. That's kind of gross. This man really does have bodies in here. See, like it never happened. Thank you, Leonardo. Uh-huh. For everything. Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. Awesome. Italian is a very beautiful language. I have to say. All right, let's go into the database. I think it was in documents, codex pages. I have spent days with the artifact now, or has it been weeks, months? I can no longer be certain. The others come from time to time, offering food or distraction. They say I should separate myself from these studies. Malik. Oh. As even suggests, I abandon them entirely, but I'm not yet ready to turn away. This apple of Eden will be understood. It must be. Oh my God! Oh my ear! Is it a weapon? Is it a catalog? Is it somehow both? He who increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. The philosophy of such a statement I can understand, but for it to be true, literally true, a society that waged wars with ideas and information in place of steel and swords. Its function is simple, elementary even. Dominion, control, but the process, the methods and means it employs, these are fascinating. Those subjected to its glow are promised all that they desire. It asks only one thing in return, complete and total obedience. And who can re truly refuse? It is temptation incarnate. I remember my own moment of weakness when confronted by Al Malawim. My confidence shaken by his words, he who had been like a father was now revealed to be my greatest enemy. Just the briefest flicker of doubt was all he needed to creep into my mind, but I vanquished his phantoms, restored my self-confidence, and sent him from this world. I freed myself, but now I wonder, did I really? For here I sit, desperate to understand that which I swore to destroy. This is why. The apple has a tale to tell. I sense the flickers of something, great and dangerous. We are all at risk. It is my duty to do something about it. I must not, cannot, turn away until I found the truth. As he will. And wasn't some of that in um, the cutscenes for Assassin's Creed Bloodlines? Do you believe? So we have page one and page three. I'm not going to read them out of order, though. No text data. Zoom to see image data. Interesting. All right. So we can use the hidden blade now. That's good. Oh, let's pull up the map. All right, we can go here. Should we do this race? So knock the race out real quick. Might be pretty easy. Uh, excuse me, people. Y'all are kind of in the way. Can't parkour with y'all just standing right in front of the thing. Right, we're going to do this race real quick. Let's see what these races are about. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Y'all told me to how, how to catch ledges pretty late. <laughs> like, I've been doing that. Jump down. Oh. oh. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. I can outrun anyone in this distretto. I hear you the best. Prove it. I guess I am. <laughs> that awkward like silence when they're just like Oh. That's not good. I'm going up though. Ah, nice. Let's go up. Are they following me? Still? They're doing pretty good. Up across. Whoa. Oh, uh, these races aren't that hard. Oh, what the heck? What's that noise? Oh, can we make it? Yes. We're doing great, guys. Oh, right into a haystack. That was cool. That was definitely awesome. I had to do that. I just had to. All right, let's try to fight because we don't we haven't really fought too much. I was hoping. Can I not counter? Oh, there we go. Can I attack? Oh, you can fight with the hidden blade now? Oh, that's different. Oh, that might be the most OP weapon in this game then. <laughs> Love it. Oh, did you see that? I can grab a guy, use him as a human shield? Oh, that is crazy cool. So many new things that we can do. All right. Well, we did the race. That's pretty easy. I don't care. Shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I sliding? I saw that I was just sliding randomly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Need to go to Paula's house. I'm trying to give you guys a long first episode. You were gone for quite a while. Bernardo likes to talk. That he does. But I trust he did more than talk. Yep. Impressive. I'm rather fond of it myself. I've given you the skills. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch okay. over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. As if they were my own. That's so sweet. Judge, jury, executioner. So 
I will be taking my time with this game just like I did with the first game. Trying to collect all the things. I actually get a rewards this time, so I'm definitely going to be check, uh, collecting all the things for sure. All the collectibles that we can. Seems like there's a lot. So I'll definitely be getting my hours in in this game. Just in case you guys are curious, I'm not trying to speed run these games whatsoever. I do want to take my time and just appreciate the games, get invested in the story, get invested in the characters, the music, everything, everything that I can. The best that I can. Oh, wait, do I got to go up? Isn't there a decency law that applies to just such things? Oh, there's a I lot of guards over this, there. You have overstepped your bounds, Uberto. Who are you to speak of bounds? You, who have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now, we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes, your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Ooh. Without being detected. Oh, this is going to be good. So we're going to have to blend in a lot. All right, guys, we're going to take this slow, right? We're going to try to be as stealthy as possible. Looks like we could pop into this group right here. So let's do that. Right now. Let's get into this group here. Where did he go? Seems like he went this way. We can't use the roof here, as we can see. There are guards here. Hold on a second. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, wait a second. Maybe we can hire these these girls. Come on, girls. Come this way. Can you distract these guards here? Okay. Thanks, girls. I appreciate the help. Good evening, Gonfaloniere. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying this. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore fell. And to think I once thought of Giovanni as a brother. Don't blame you yourself. Me How could you have known what he was doing? I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes, I should. If you. Oh, that's what you want to do, huh? He wasn't you kidding with that. Save. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. Ooh. That the was Abitori vengeance. Are not dead. I'm still here. Me, Ezio. Ezio Abitore. Jeez. What happened here? This document is meant to serve as a record of all I've learned over the past few weeks. Oh, this is the one that my dad gave to him. In the event that I am silenced or prevented from sharing it with you myself, understand first that the Duke of Milan's murder was no mere political maneuver. Rather, it is but a piece of a conspiracy that reaches far beyond Firenze, counting members in Roma, Venezia, and Fori, to name but a few cities. Attached to this note is a list, or rather the start of one, of those I know to be guilty. 
Its contents are by no means complete, but I intend to rectify that shortly. I can, however, say with certainty that the Potsy family is involved. Are they? We must move quickly to question Frances uh, Francesco before he buys his freedom from prison. Doing so, doing so will surely add more names to the list. I already have my suspicions as to who these men are, given that their deeds bear all the hallmarks of an old enemy. I fear they... The note abruptly ends here. Giovanni must have had to stop and hide it when the guards showed up to arrest him. Dang. This is not good. The Potsy family, huh? Alright, well, I'm out of here. They didn't even see me. There's a lot of guards on this roof, so... We gotta figure out a way to get around them. Maybe we can go up. Yeah, we definitely can. And then we should be able to jump into a haystack, do a leap of faith. And then we're out of here. That was pretty sneaky, I'm not gonna lie. We did pretty good there. Oh, we don't need to be this high up. Here we go. We did pretty good there, guys. Alright, what do we have to do here? Jump down. And we're here. Okay, guys, I don't know what this is right here, but I just found it. I saw this little shiny part of this building and I marked it on my map. There's one of the symbols. What does it mean? It must be there for a reason. Can you take a closer look? What the heck? What am I supposed to do? Hey, try using eagle vision. Oh. I've got all day. Wait, wait, that's, that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. Oh, shit. It's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. What am I supposed to do with it? Upload it to Desmond then. I believe this. Oh, wait. What the heck? Hello. This is... It, they, they, they call me Subject 16. Whoa! Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. My man has the knowledge. Okay. Um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all. But I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each what? with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, no. Uh, what century is it? <laughs> uh, y y never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> okay. Find, find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. All right, I can do that. What Hopefully. The How did this get inside our animus? Oh, oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, he's smart. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, yeah, they were him. Those were clues. Yeah. He was telling us to look for them inside the animus. Oh. Oh. I see what you mean, Desmond. Unlock the file. Five of these mythic scenes share a core similarity. Take them out and you'll begin to see. Oh, we don't get demonetized for this. Hold on. Uh... I see apples in a couple of them. Is it apples? I mean, we are looking for the apple of Eden, right? Does this one count too? Oh wait, I can zoom? That would help. How do I zoom though? Hold on. Oh, here we go. I think this one has one. 
This one has one. Thank God for the zoom. This one has one. No. This one. Apple of Eden. There it is. Okay. File unlocked. The truth. Oh, wow. What the heck is this? So I just wait until like later on to play this? Yeah, it seems like I can't even play that much. I could just play that little bit. Okay. So we got to look out for those. So glyphs. All right, cool. Okay, I can unmark that on my map now. Cool. So that's what they were talking to me about earlier. And they said I icons. So those things don't come up at all. Unfortunately, you just have to run into them. I did notice it was on a landmark though. So this is a building. So would there be one here too? I don't know. Maybe I should go look for them all. Let's keep the game going though. Maybe I should unlock because maybe this game has more areas. I don't think this is the only map. And maybe that's once I unlock all the areas, then I should start doing all the collectible things, right? I feel like that makes more sense. Oh, wait, here's another one. The past. A vast web of connections and interconnections is it all ruled by chance, or is it? 64 squares, unlock the file. Whoa, what the heck is this? Is this one of those things where you have to complete the image? Probably like that. This is cool. Boom. Queen Elizabeth, the first of England. Yeah. Peace of Eden to Apple. Is this Napoleon? Hold on here. Uh... It's this, right? Or maybe not. Maybe it's like this. And turn this here. Yeah, here we go. And then his head. Looks like Napoleon, at least. Emperor Napoleon, one of France, 1812. Is that my boy? <laughs> George? Absolutely not. Not my George. My, not my boy George. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, can we play all? Oh, okay. It's literally giving us the crumbs, huh, guys? Like, that's quick. All right, let's turn that off. Can I grab that? Ah! I'm a god. Come here, man. Don't I know you? Let you there. Crap. That's fine. Take him out. Okay, maybe we won't. Okay, wait, I'm doing this horribly. Everybody's running away from me. I'm sorry. Aww. I think it's best I leave Firenze. That's cute. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. <laughs> Mario. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've it's a me, a Mario. 
Killing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Heralds also incite the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. Nice. All right. Got to remove the posters. Got to bribe the Herald and kill a corrupt official. Let's do it. So we can do this all the time. I've added a program for tracking notoriety. This oh? leader will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. Guards are on high alert right now. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. Oh, I see. It'll the top also left. Tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. Sounds good. <laughs> Mario, where's Luigi? Where's Luigi, Mario? If they have Mario and Luigi, I would laugh so hard, bro. That would be hilarious. That would make sense, too. They got to have a Mario reference, right? Because Ubisoft has worked with Nintendo a lot. Uh, they have that Raymond Rab Rabbids game. Cross Mario. So it wouldn't be unheard of if there was some kind of um, reference. I have to kill this guy? Or do I just bribe him? Oh, I'll bribe him. That, that... That takes my Florins, my Florins, man. But apparently that really gets rid of my notoriety. Like it lowers it. Not the Mario. All right, let's go this way. Notoriety went down, down. Hey, what's this thing here? Oh, I see. Um. It's so cool that you can just like kind of map out like how to not hit the street. Like, how you can just completely use the rooftops to get to where you need to go. I should go down here. Paolo, I'm back. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? Aww. Ezio, where have you been? They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, she hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is Father? And Federico? And Petruccio? Hmm? Something's... Happened. Gone. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Yeah. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Pichina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? That's hard to watch. It's gonna and be alright. Thank you again for everything. Aww. Stay safe, Edzu. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. I gotta escort them out. Okay. Oh my god, that's really hard to watch. This way. Okay. Escort your family. I can tell them to stop following me. Okay. Cool. So they work. Mm -mm. We're turning that off. I don't even know why that guy did that.
Are you back? Oh, you can throw money. I don't know how to do that, though. How do I do that, guys? I said I could throw money, though. Listen to the music here. It's so sad. Um, I just took that man's money. I saw that. What's the matter? I buried more men than I can. What? What did I do? Many for offenses just like yours. Carefully. Hey, yo, 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 chill, 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 chill. Come on, come on, come on. Family, come on. My peoples. I don't know how to throw the money, though. That kind of annoys me. Okay, my mom's still there. Cool. Oh, my goodness. Bro. Chill. There's no way. There's no way that this is happening. Move. Jeez. I don't care because you know what? I don't want to waste my money anyway. Not on those guys. So I kind of didn't want to throw money low key. Don't even think Sitting on people's knees? Yikes. Oh my god, did I just push my mom? Forty. Okay, so we're going this way. How could this have happened to us? I don't know. Will we ever be back? I don't know. Oh, don't get frustrated with them, Ezio. They're just scared. Let's go. What will happen to our house? I don't know. Were they... Were they given a proper burial? Yes. They were. Did he lie there? Oh. The game just crashed. Uh, are we back? Let's do that mission again. Oh no, we're good. Yeah, I crashed there though. That was weird. Toscana. 1476. Should be close. Grazie, Dio. Escort Maria and Claudia to the villa Auditore. We can do All that. Right, this way. I didn't know we had a villa. Nice. Bonjour. Oh Grazie. no. Could you leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye? Ezio! Uh -oh. <gasps> what do you want, Vieri? So many things. A larger palazzo, two new steeds, a prettier bride. Oh, and yes, your life. Man, you better come take it. The loss of your father and brothers. Hey, yo, whoa, hey, yo! Hey! I have such wonderful things in store for your mother and son. I grow tired of this game. Finish him and do not spare the women. Oh, I don't like this guy at all. Oh, what oh. sorcery is this? <laughs> not sorcery, boy. Skill. Show yourself. Mario? You About to come jump on your head. Kill them. Kill them all. That's got to be Mario, right? Here we go. Wait, hold up. Let me make sure my family's good. Oh, uh, y'all tripping. Okay, they're kind of help. Oh, wait, mama. 
Oh, jeez. Good thing I have that medicine. Oh, nice. That felt like a combo kill. Ooh. A back attack's an instant. Insta kill? You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? No. Nope. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Uncle Mario. <laughs> it's been too long, you both. Far too long. They really I did, man. Heard what happened to <laughs> Terrible. Come. Let's get you all away from here. <laughs> they really did that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> of course they did. How could you not? Right? Monterey Gioni. Let's um look this up. Built in the 13th century by the overlords of Siena, Monterey Gioni was actively involved in the defense of Tuscany against Florentine attempts to gain more territory. At the front of this conflict was the Auditore family, who became the city's rulers and protectors. It was the Auditore who constructed Monteregioni's famous walls, which can still be seen today. Although standing in opposition to Florentine desires, the Auditore had cordial relations with the Medici family, largely due to their collective Florentine roots. Monteregioni successfully withstood attacks from Florence until in 1554 the city was betrayed. Giovanni Zetti, the keeper of the garrison and a Florentine exile was allowed to return to Florence in exchange for the keys to the city. Extraordinarily, the Auditori were allowed to continue the role of Monteregioni under Florentine leadership, showing that the Medici do not forget their friends. That's good. Let's talk to my boy Mario. So, tell me everything. They executed father for treason. Federico and Petruccio too. They came for me. Do you know Dang. why? I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. I still can't believe they are gone. Don't worry. We will make sense of this. I wish I shared your optimism. Come on, keep pace. We're almost there. I think you will find much to like in Monterey Johnny. I thought That's Monterey good. Johnny was an enemy of Fidense. <sighs> for now. Next year will be its friend, the year after its enemy again, and on <laughs> and on. I cannot keep track. Goes back so and I forth, huh? Trying. These are honest, hard-working people. Our shops may only carry simple goods, but they're well-made and dependable. There is a chapel here, too. The Prete seems a nice enough fellow, but I've never been much of a believer. Did you know the Villa Auditore is almost 200 years old? It was built by my great-grandfather. A strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. Oh, really? With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. Looks like it. I wish I could do something about it, but I just don't have the time or money to fix things up. Guess that's life, huh? That's where I come in, right? Here we are. Casa Dolce Casa. So, what do you think? It's most impressive, uncle. She's seen better days, I suppose. Believe me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Ha <laughs> ha He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go right. and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Oh, nice. The top floor? Ooh, look at all that flooring I just got. All right, let's get this viewpoint first. Yeah, 
yeah this is definitely seeing better days let me tell you it's just gray and gloomy here is italy really like this y'all y'all got gray skies all the time we're major tripping uh oh right here Hopefully this opens up the map completely for us. Uh, is that a race? Odex wall. Uh, I don't remember any codex walls. Is it above me? What is this? Statues. The god of rage and strength basks in his lover's radiant beauty. She tames his anger with her gentle touch. Mars and Venus. Do I have to get those? You know, I gotta use my eagle vision around here? That could possibly be inside too, though. Seems like there's a lot of places where these statues need to go. All right, well, let's go inside and check this out. Okay, well, not up here. Oop. Oh, wait, here we go. Whoa. What do I do with this? Oh, maybe when I collect all these codexes, they come here. And like, it's going to finish like a, a huge map or something like that. Or some kind of picture. Interesting. A great metal work here. Okay, they want me to buy a pair of greaves. Oh, I can actually get the fire armor. Yes, yes, yes. That makes me so happy. It gives me more health too. And a dagger. And please come back often. Yeah, a dagger too. Okay, go back in. My bad. I need that dagger. You'll be well satisfied. I know it. No, 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 no. What just happened? Uh, how do I access the weapon wheel? No, it's this button. Ah. Nice. That's good to know. All right, let's go this way. Medicine? We could buy like three. We don't need the you max amount. Already. Oh, well, it wants me to buy the max amount. So, yeah, we do need the max amount. Never mind. Cool. Now Their it's teaching us how to buy things. Recovery, amico. I'm sure I have just Should I get those leather things, too? The Spalders? Why not? I have the money. You'll be well satisfied. I know it. Cool. Casa Dolce. Yeah, we got a little bit of health too. That's cool. What's going on, guys? Don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. Aw. And the place is kind of nice, though. We can't, can't be too upset. You know? Looks cool. There's nothing to do here. Let's go talk to Uncle. Salute, Uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. 
Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive a week on the road. If you want to leave, so be it. He's not Please wrong. Do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. If not for me, for your mother and sister. Fine. Optimum. You can swing a sword to be sure, but offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. Oh, finally. You said my father was more than just a banker. No use dancing around. Okay, straight. Your father was an assassin. There it is. Benny, I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. All this talk of assassins and Templars, it reeks of fantasy. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? You have your father's blade. I think you do have the codex page he was holding as well. Ah, codex. Didn't we already have the counter skill? Sai, le armi servono a due lati. Hai paura. I like how he talks smack. Now, you bore me. <laughs> that feels so cool. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Right. Only they weren't. Merely oh. pushed underground where they oh. continued their nefarious work. I see. Do I need to counter kill him? Possibly, huh? Yeah. Seems like it. Ooh. Nice. Well done, Nepote. You've really come into your own. Thank you, Uncle. For all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain. In three days. Spain? Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your father fought and died for? To deny your heritage? Fine. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he Jeez. so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. All right, let's go talk to uncle. He's got to tell us about our dad, huh? He was not happy. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. Oh. You wish to join them. Oh. You'll find what you need at the stables. Okay. Let's learn about Vieri. Vieri di Pazzi. The youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family, this kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. Look at all this the DLC this guy got. Of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running. All of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner. And serve them a meal to die for. Jeez. Yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of nasty. I gotta go check on my mom. Oh, we didn't learn about the uncle, did we? Let's uh, check that out first. Um, see contacts. Yeah, one of several fiduciary. 
patrolling the Tuscan countryside. Mario played a significant role in the Battle of Angiari, alerting Micheletto to the appearance of several dust clouds over the road, which signaled a surprise advance by Milanese troops. Thanks to Mario, the Milanese attack was foiled and the Florentines won the battle. Although Mario sided with Florence in Angahari, for most of his career he defended the interests of his hometown, Monteria Gioni, derailing Florentine attempts to seize Tuscan territory. While Mario's younger brother Giovanni moved to Florence in 1454 to pursue a career in banking, Mario stayed at the family's villa in Monteria Gioni. Stay, stating in a letter to Giovanni that he preferred fighting like a man to filling out balance sheets. Agreed. I I think I actually <laughs> have to agree with him there. Made a good point. Oh, look at this. Whoa. It's the whole model of the villa. That's cool. Wait, is that a chest over there? Your income is zero fordens. Bye. I have zero dollars. Where's my money? Is she upstairs? Yeah. Claudia. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. Aww. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. That's sad. She's like completely in shock to the point where she's mute. Oh, you can take the feathers back to her. I wonder if you get a scene with her if you get all the feathers since she wants them. Yeah, there's so much stuff to do. I think the areas in Assassin's Creed 1 outside the city look better. Or am I tripping? The cities definitely look better in this game. But I do feel like... No, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just like the... Maybe I just think the environment in that game's prettier. I don't know. As in, maybe it's just my taste. Oh, wait, did I pass it? Was it down here? Oops. You know what? I wish this game had like, instead of them doing RPG features, I wish you could like level up like certain things like parkour or like, like things like that, like parkour, your skills that like you could be, you know, better at like using your dagger or better at using your sword instead of just like unlocking like skills like how you do in this game and in the, in the last game you actually had to like level up the skills individually or the weapons individually i think that would have been a lot better perhaps rather than just like your character having an overall level but maybe you do do that in the rpg games and i'm wrong i guess we'll find out it's you what are you doing here? Taking responsibility. Vieri troubles you because of me. <laughs> Vieri troubles us because he's a Templar, and we are assassins. Either way, I wish to help. Va bene. Then listen close. First, we must find a way inside the city, though it seems Vieri expects us. He has sealed the gates and sent his men to guard them. Fortunately for us, the city is larger than his host. The southern gate suffers for it. So this is where we'll strike. Pronti? I'm ready. Let's go assassinate him. I can't believe we're actually going to take him out. This is literally the first antagonist of the game. And we're going to get rid of him. Okay, now nighttime looks really pretty. We're gonna scale the wall right here. All right, Ezio. Here's how it is going to work. My men and I will distract the guards. Once we have engaged them, get yourself over the wall and find a way to open the gate. Take these throwing knives. Use them to dispatch the archers. I'm ready when Ooh, you are. Ooh, finally some throwing then knives. Let us begin. 
Uh, what's going on there? <laughs> Somebody's glitching. Alright, let me remember. Okay, the weapon wheel is that button. Uh, I'll do that. Does this work the same way as it did in the other Assassin's Creed game? Yeah. Is it a one hit kill? Looks like it. Oh. oh wait, okay, I need to go over there. I see. Oh look at this guy up here. I'm just gonna scale this right here. Still take this guy out. Apparently when you throw throwing knives, they can hear that. Watch, watch this, watch. All right, let's let's equip him. Oh, wait, why did I not equip him? There it goes. Like, look, they can hear that. Apparently, I don't like that. It shouldn't be that way, in my opinion. All right, you guys are in. Let's go. Well done, Ezio. We are in. This way, man. I gotta follow Mario. I want you to distract those guards and keep them from raising the alarm. Hopefully, it will buy me enough time to find and silence Fieri. Va bene. Wait, Nipote. Take a few of my men with you, just to be safe. Come join me once they're dealt with. Up oh, you want me to fight them head on? But something has him on edge. How else to explain all the patrols? A signal we'll again when you should follow. Instead, he's but turned us into nursemaids. And what? Keep them busy. Let's do it. Time to fight. Let's go. Check this out. Oh, that's cool. A grab is different when you have your sword out. Oh, that's really dope. <laughs> that is fun. Grab is a little too easy to do, though. Jeez. <laughs> Just backstabbing everyone. That's fun. Okay, we need to go up here. This guy's still gonna follow me. Oh, did he just watch me stab him? I feel like the music is underappreciated in this game. Am I wrong? Like, it's so good. Oh, what happened here? Ezio, your uncle's under attack and needs help. Go to him. Wait, what? Oh crap, there's a ton of guys over here. Whoa! Ah, Nipot, there you are. It seems my plan is just something of a smash. Yeri's men ambushed us, and now we've got our hands full. My brother and I will deal with these guys. I want you to go on ahead and root up that snake. See that justice is done. Oh! Did you see that? We double teamed that guy. I grabbed him, and then he just came and stabbed him. That was cool. Look at that, we're all we're all ready to take this guy out. Ow, they hit me. My own people. How good we are. I came to clean up. I can grab this. Can these guys follow me when I go onto the roof? 
Is there another way? I can't fulfill them yet. I don't think they can. Oh, it looks like they. Yeah, they're coming. We're good. Where's that one from? Nothing here. There he is. Not you. Nice. Oh, he's running. Now to do. Stay calm. Okay then. Oh, you can't grab these guys. You gotta weaken them a little bit. Okay, maybe the guards or maybe the grab's not OP then. I lied. I can't get him. Ah, oh, I tried to quick step. Nah, he wouldn't let me quick step either. What the heck? Come on. There it is. There we go. I think I lost my guys. That's where I need to be. Do I need to go back and get them though? Oh no, up here. There we go. There he is. It's settled. Vieri, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Screw that guy. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he'll discover what we intend. He's always been trouble. Just like that bastardo brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time. Oh, that's to his dad. When we're finished. Now, is there anything else? They're both snakes. Muy bien. May the father of understanding guide you. May, May the, the father, father of, of understanding, understanding guide you. Comandante! Comandante! What? Mario Auditore has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> Then let's not keep him waiting. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to let them do their thing down there. I'm going to go over there to Vieri. All right, let's go this way. You know, fun fact about me, since I mentioned that my family's from Sicily, my first and last name is also uh, pretty telling of the uh sicilian ancestry um i'm named after my great grandfather actually and so is my little brother one of our grandparents not sure which one for him though let me go ahead and uh i bet his name's gonna show up in this game for sure because his name is more uh common Oh! <laughs> oh, Vieri. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. What are you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avesse sofferto di più! Hai avuto la fine che meritavi! Spero che pro... Enough it! Max. Show some respect. Respect. After all that's happened, do you think he would have shown either of us such kindness? You are not Fieri. Do not become him. That's true, though. His uncle's right. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercavi. Requiesca in pace. Close his eyes. Take this. Read it when you have the time. It's like Altair. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Well, we killed Viere. Pretty easily, actually. <laughs> now, I learned that with the hidden blade, if you counter boss fights, you can end them like that. 
You can literally end them in the snap of a finger. Are we leaving the Animus? That would make sense. We've been in here for a while. Oh, maybe not. What was that thing that we just got? We got something new. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? Where's you the women? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. There it is. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, it's you. I like this guy. Yes, uncle. Learn about the villa and discover the codex pages hidden there. The Pazzi answer to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Which oh. makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Oh. Yes. And he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? That's a priest, you right? Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I think that... I should read the letter my uncle gave me. I think that priest or pope or whatnot, I feel like in real life he was known for sleeping with a lot of women. I think he had a lot of kids with a lot of different women. And obviously you can't be doing that. Let's see. What is the thing that we just got? Conspirators. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we just killed Vieri. Oh, it's a whole web here. That's cool. And I don't think we got anything here. Everything here is good. We could check out all the locations. Oh, look at all these. We're getting more and more stuff. All right, let's go this way. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes, your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Oh, it is a map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke yes, of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits and we'll add it to the wall. Nice. We will, we will. Man, I wish I looked like Ezio, man. <laughs> I wish I looked like young Ezio. I mean, think of all the think of all the girls he got. Alright, um Let's go up here. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. Wanted to do that though. There we go. They want me to oh they want me to go all the way to the top? Yeah.
for philosophical codex pages. Ah, look at this. All right. Well, we'll go around and get them. Find philosophical codex pages and have them deciphered by Leonardo to increase your maximum health. Oh. That helps me get more health. Cool. That's nice to know. Uh, where is this one? Oh, right here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is the only way to get about. I think the other one's on the other side. I jump. Is that a feather? I'll be skipping that. We'll come back to those in due time. Last one should be this way. Maybe not. Maybe it's outside the city. Oh, yeah. It's out, 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 outside. I'm just going to fall down from here. Oh, it worked. Okay, cool. Why is this page all the way out here? What's the reason? Oh, it's here by this little house or shed or whatever this is. Ah, there it is. Easy. We'll take those to Leonardo. And I think you can fast travel in this game too, which is kind of cool. Oh, I have to go check on my... Oh, my sister. Oh, wait. She's not in here. Claudia's not in here. What? She must be downstairs then. Yeah, here she is. Hold up. What you writing? Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If oh. father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Zio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start <laughs> paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. Oh, that's cool. You're going cool. to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Oh. Capito. Dio. Capito, huh? Okay, I see you. Hold on, what is that? Oh. Overwhelming much? Shops. Renovations. Okay. And collect the money. We have no money. There is no money, guys. What's this guy talking about? Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money... I have a lot of money. Then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. 
I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. Oh, nice. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario I like that. Me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. It. So, that sounds let's good. Take a look, shall we? Yeah. So this is where I want to invest my money, right? Screw spending my money everywhere else. I need to worry about this. And on top of that, I get discounts. Oh my God. Re renovating the bank will greatly increase the city's value. Oh, okay. What should I do first? Maybe. Maybe the bank? The bank sounds important. Why would you not renovate the bank, right? I'm just going to renovate the bank. Buon viaggio. Look at that. My, my value went up high. This will increase the villa's income. Great. Girl, how much money we got? I gotta go speak with Mario. Can't speak with Claudia? Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Whoa. Are we gonna learn why we're assassins? Is he finally gonna learn about his dad? Whoa, look at this. Jeez. Excuse me? This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order. Holy crap. Secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. What the heck? I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. How do I get that? I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Whoa. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Dang, that armor looks sick. Mongolian assassin. Use the bow and arrow to shoot Gigas Khan's horse. Bro. Imagine Mongolia. This was the first recorded use of the hidden blade. Oh. Wei Yu, the male Chinese assassin. Bro, what the heck? Mongolia would be so cool. A female Egyptian assassin? She killed Cleopatra with a snake? Is she in Origins? I would hope so. Babylonian, whoa. She poisoned Alexander the Great? No way. He stabbed Caligula with a dagger. Wow. This is cool. All right. Well, I guess we got to go find all those crypts. Does this game have a day and night cycle? Or is that just determined by the missions that you do? 
Oh yeah, Leonardo. I gotta give him the codex pages. Up, homie. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts. So we had a time skip there. Two years. Techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time. Just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? <laughs> of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Several new assassin tech. Ooh. Ooh. Assassination abilities. No way am I going to be able to pull him into the haystack. I called that, y'all. I can pull someone down from a le- I wanted that in the first game. I wanted the haystack and that. Oh, that. That makes me very happy. That makes me very happy indeed. You can assassinate in high or low profile. Okay. No way. Look at this. Look at that. And the dummy has blood. I love that. <laughs> kind of cool. And I can assassinate from above. Y'all. This is what I wanted. Well, you could kind of do that in the first game, but it was kind of wonky. It didn't work all the time. Now you can. Oh, this is a stealth game. This is definitely a stealth game. Okay. Now I'm happy. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. What was he making? Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Stay attento, amico. Here we go. 1,000 florins. Hey, spare a thought for hours, you might be. Okay, let's see where we need to go here. Well, there's a viewpoint right there. Let's uh, unlock that real quick. Hidden bladed armor plate. I can deflect weapon attacks with a hidden blade. I can kill two enemies at once with the... I have two hidden blades, y'all. What the heck? Two? Two. Two. Two hidden blades. You know what this means? Double the bad -ery. I love it. I absolutely love it. Two hidden blades. I think we saw that in one of the trailers. I thought it was in Brotherhood, right? The Brotherhood trailer? I didn't think it, you got it in this game, though. Can I do that right now? With these guards? How does it work? Oh, it didn't work. Maybe they needed to be closer or something. How did they not see me do that, though? <laughs> okay. I gotta argue with it. I'm good, dude. I'm chilling. Fox hunt. A fox. 
Oh oh. Go up there. Oh man. The stealth is over 9,000. Oh wait. I didn't even see you. Sorry. Target located? Where? Oh, over there? Oh, yeah. True. Oh, wait. What? What? My pouch. Oh, my money. Your money. My money. I don't have your money. Ah, <laughs> oh, money. Get back here. Move. Move, people. You're making a big mistake, my friend. Oh, you messed up. Enough of this. Enough indeed. Why don't oh. I really have no interest in hurting you. Why are we on the roof? So give me back my money and we'll call it <laughs> even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. Oh, you're the fox. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Magiardo, let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Love the hand ah, gestures. Yes. <laughs> Here is your money. Where will this be held? I need to know. I'm surprised there's so many viewpoints. There must be some other cities that we haven't been to. This game might be huge. For real. Uh, before I talk to him. There's almost no trace of Lavope. In the history books, the name's obviously a pseudonym, but for whom is anyone's guess? What small data is available seems to be almost mythical. Lavope is reported to have robbed the Pope's carriage without any of his guards noticing, including the Pope, who is sitting inside the carriage. One night in 1467, he was seen on the rooftops of the Palazzo del Signoria, the Palazzo Medici, and Santa Croce, all at the same time. Some claim that he's immortal, never aging, while others say that his violet eyes can see through buildings, perusing the contents inside. Dang. <laughs> Follow me, but we must move fast. Think you can keep up? That's some problema. I can definitely keep up with him. Look at this guy. That's nothing. It's not easy. Do I look like a novice? Come on now, sir. I'm right here. <laughs> what are you doing back there? I said to keep up with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, play my song. No, 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 no. I messed up. Uh, 
This guy really does move fast, though. Oh, that's real parkour right there. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about, brother. Go down. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I wasn't even supposed to go down. Ooh, almost messed up there. Here we are. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. How do I join them? There are catacombs that run under the city. They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn it, then slide it down. Thank you for all your help, Vope. Hmm. Buona fortuna. Yeah, they're still introducing, like, new stuff. Like, what is this? Oh, I barely caught that, bro. <laughs> that was pretty impressive, not gonna lie. We're gonna find one of those statues down here, right? Or maybe not. Because we're going to the Templar meeting. Never mind. Guards are on high alert here. Oops, that was my bad. Oh, wait, there's some right here. Easy. Oh, yeah, this game's really good so far, guys. Oh. Want me to parkour around? Nice. This place is definitely spooky. They definitely went off with the level design in this game, though. Oh, that's cool. That How was long do we have to really stand cool. Here, it's so cold. What do you want, Hilario? Messer Pazzi is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. Good luck with that, sir. Hilario. I like that name. You need to go up. Oh, that shimmy. Crazy. Oh, crap. Didn't even notice you were there, dude. Should have saw you on the mini map, but I wasn't paying attention. Oh, wait. Ooh. Release me. Bye. I mean, he said release me, right? Am I wrong? There we go.
Ah, uh, there's another one up there. Okay. Like how it has the assassin logo on it. Let me grab this. Don't know if we'll ever come back down here, so I might as well grab the chest. Uh, okay, we need to go right there. Climb up here. Jump over here. Swing on that. Right on over. Nice. The door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. There was. I told you we shouldn't have come here. If I hear anything, I'm a running to the other guard post. So help me God. Oh, there's a lot of y'all. Cool. Ooh. That's really unfortunate for you. Come on. Oop. Who's coming at me first? Fine. Fine. Let's try it again. Oh my goodness. Did y'all see that? The double hidden blades to the stomach? That was disgusting. What's this guy doing? Saverio, I'll be back with the other guards. Uh oh, not a good idea. Nope, 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 nope. Can't let you do that, sir. Can't let you do that, sir. He's not going to get me. So he thinks. <laughs> oh. Oh. So we want to do that. Oh, but look at that. That was kind of cool. Hold on. Oh, baby, I'm here. Oh. Oh, he got me again. But I'm too good. But I'm too good. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm on that booty. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can smell the stank. I'm right behind him. Oh, yes, sir. You're dead. You are so dead, sir. <laughs> that was so fun. But we need missions like that where I'm just straight chasing people. That was fire. Listen to the music here. Oh my God. So good. Benedictio Dei Omnipotentes, Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti, Descendat super vos et maneat semper. Grazie, Padre. Bernardo. It's all here. Swords, staves, axes, armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. Yeah, the Pope's a bad We're guy in this. We're all set for the in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. we'll need to be on hand to make sure Giuliano even gets out of bed for church tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? Do you think they suspect something? Impossible. The Medici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. 
Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? Oops. We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Yeah, well, you know what I don't understand? Why all these guys are ugly. That's what I don't understand. Let me look up because I think this Pope's name. Yes, this is Pope Alexander the sixth. Yes, 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 yes. But his real name is, uh, well, he was born. Rodrigo the Borja. one in the Villa Auditore. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. I got one of them. That's good. And a lot of money. I can upgrade my villa. Seal of Darius. I'm going to have to do that I'll five more times. Find the other crypts. I really need that armor, man. That armor looked really cool. Let me make sure this is the right Pope, though. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. I know where Francesco will be and when, but... What is it? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Hmm. Typical of Sixtus, but... What the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici, and it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. They're going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd, get close, and stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi. It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. He's already getting used to being an assassin, huh? My boy Ezio. What's going on here? What's up with this? I can loot boats? Whoa. That's cool. What? Whoa, I can swim! I can swim! Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's so cool. I didn't think you could swim in this game. You can swim. I thought I was dead. I thought I was going to desync or something right there. Like you do in Assassin's Creed 1. Because Altair can't swim. This is cool. I hope there's like a cool like swimming mission. That'd be kind of fun. All right. Oh, this guy's still following me. Oops. Forgot all about you. Oh, what the heck? Did I take his sword? Did I disarm him completely? I didn't know you could take people's swords. Bye. I didn't know you could disarm them. That's cool. 
prevent the conspirators from attacking the Medici family. Let's try this out. Oh, wait, I need to like stay low key here. There's Lorenzo and his wife. Where are they going? There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. But where is Francesco? There he is. Oh. Time to strike. Crepa, traditore! Ah! Oh! Giuliano, no! Oh, crap! Oh, this is madness! Oh! Jeez. That voice actor delivered those lines, though. Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies by my sword. In fact, I kill. Nope. That's where you're wrong. Oh. Crap. Oh, we're doing good. Look at this. Oh, he's going to come over here? Is it time? Wait, can I not counter him? Oh, I guess not. Okay. Let's get him. I can counter this guy, though. But apparently not him. Got him. Oh, wait, what? He's going to run away? I'm gonna help him out. Ooh, it's really hard to counter with uh, the hidden blade. You saved my life. It's nothing. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Ah, not now. I need help first. To my home. Uh, people I trust. Can you? Ah. Yeah, he does. I need to defend him for sure. All right, this way. Let's go. I'm losing a lot of blood. Hang on, signore. I'm moving as fast as I can. Oh, crap. Look at the streets. Francesco de Pazzi! Follow my lead. We have uh -oh. that heavy, signore. Conserve your energy, or I'll be delivering a corpse. I'm more than kidding. We're almost there now. Let's go. I've not forgotten how to wait for I hired a group? I don't remember hiring a group. Dude, this this game is all about revenge, huh? Everybody wants revenge. Oh, he's okay. He's the person. Okay, that's what they were talking about. I was like, wait, I didn't hire anybody. I'll do anything. That makes sense. Move. I think I need to go this way, actually. Yeah. Oh, a lot of boys here. Okay, nice. Oh, God. Dude, we should definitely try out the dagger. Let's try it out. Oh. That's nice. 
Get him out of here. Falling. Lorenzo has been wounded. Aprite la porta. What's the password? Polizia, open the maledetta porta. By the Christ's greatest, come in quickly. The city is at war. He said, open that hey. effing door. <laughs> Wait. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. You're Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then Not my good. survival would mean nothing. I have to... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. I'll try my best. Wolves in sheep's clothing. All right. Well, looks like we have like a whole new set of missions to do. Poliziano, somewhat of a prodigy. Poliziano learned Latin and Greek at age 10. And by 18, he had already become a published author. Lorenzo de Medici hired him to act as the tutor for his children. He made sure he received a post at the studio for Rientino. Unfortunately, Poliziano must not have been everyone's favorite instructor. He died of arsenic poisoning in 1494. Jeez. Probably murdered by Piero de' Medici, his former student. Then we can learn about Francesco next time. All right. With that being said, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for coming to the very first episode of Assassin's Creed 2. More videos will be on the way. I think this game is going to be a little bit longer than the first game. So it's probably going to be more than two episodes. Because I beat the last game in like two episodes. So I'm guessing this game might be like three or four very long episodes. So hopefully you guys stick around for that. Thank you so much for just waiting for the Assassin's Creed 2 videos. A lot of you guys have come around and you stuck around. So I appreciate that. Hopefully we see you more in the future. Any advice, tips, tricks, info, whatever you got, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, subscribe if you're new and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I would truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.